Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to build resource management software where on one side you could input tasks uh, with estimates and on the other side you could input resource availability. And uh, the software was uh, just doing a, a sync of both and, and was telling you what is the availability that you have on your project or on your tasks. And on the other hand, was telling you if the resource were overbooked. So this is a software, an Excel spreadsheet that you can build from scratch. So I give you the uh, the the link. If you haven't done ye it yet, it's a good idea that you can go and build it from scratch. The second, uh, this one here, the this software, this version here that I called it version two, I took the same ID, but I took it a bit uh, farther. So what I have done actually is I've made some changes. Um, the, you can now select uh, a time. Uh, you can select increments for, for your uh, estimates or for your task list. Um, the resource, I made, I made some changes on totals. I've added some totals here and then. Um, but the main change is regarding the resource availability and capacity. It's something that I've seen in some very expensive <laughs> software. And I just thought, what the, what is this? Is it really useful? And, you know, the more I, I use it, the more I realize that, yes, it, it is quite good. It is quite uh, useful. So I thought, uh, let's reproduce it in Excel. Um, so I have, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through how this works. And there's also a high-level project overview here that I can walk you through. Now, I am not going to give you a step-by-step -step this time. Uh, it took me a long time and it would, uh, to, to build it. It's quite tricky and uh, I think it would take me half a day to, to walk you through my change. But on the other hand, if you build version 1 and you spend a little bit of time going through uh, my high-level explanation, then you might be able to, to build it again. I mean, you will be able to, to build it again. So let's uh, start from scratch. So for, I've added another uh, tab. It's called the Settings tab. Um, why give it a different name when settings tab is, <laughs> is good enough? So what you do is you input a start, uh, start of the task list here. I can say it properly. And then you put increments. And increments is either D or M. D for days, M for month. So if you put D and 1, so they will have increments of one day. So, so 16th of December, one day increments. So I have one, 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 one. Okay. <laughs> I can demonstrate that it's not all fluff behind. Two days. 16, 18, 20, 22. So uh, it works. So, and here, but what you can also do is put month. If I put month, this grays out. Very smart software, grays out. <laughs> and what happens here? Here, it's all a month. Month, month, month. Now, it seems obvious, but uh, I've noticed you really need to say the obvious because things can be interpreted so, so many ways. Is Once you've set a, a time frame, you have to stick with it for the life of the project, guys, and for the, for the, for the, the resources, the same thing. This is not dynamic. This is not a Gantt chart. I've done some Gantt chart where, where it's dynamic, but this stays. If you put it there, if you put 100, 100%, it's not going to recalculate to put it back into one month. That's the way it is. So you have to set that up once at the, at the beginning. Now, let's me walk you through this. Then uh, here, here, if you have the previous version, I just made a few changes. I've, <laughs> I've added this triangle here. I think I moved that from bottom to the top. I'm, I've added some totals here for the, the uh, overall total in days. Nothing really uh, dramatic here. Uh, on the resource, the same thing. I've added some totals here. Um, actually, let me, I have month here, so I just want to put something a little bit different here. I just want to go back to days and maybe one, one day. So here, no big changes. Now, the resource view. So this is where the bigger change uh, has occurred. What I'm, what I've done is I have uh, allowed you to select one resource here, and then I'm. Uh, if you just look at the availability part first, 
uh, I'm applying some uh, color coded thing, and this is where it could be uh, it becomes quite tricky with formulas and with conditional formatting. It would take me a bit of time to explain to you how I've done, but I think once once you understand uh, how I've done that, then you, you you can reproduce it yourself. So there's two parts here. So this is keeping the same grid, obviously, um, much more uh, narrower. Uh, just to allow you to have a, a, oops, a bigger view um, on, the, on the project here. Now, each uh, column here, there's uh, four types of coloring that you can have. The first type is busy and available, I should say. Busy and available. So, uh, <laughs> as uh, the, the capacity meets demands. So here, for instance, Looks like the, this resource has 100% availability and is busy half a day and then has capacity for the other half of a day. So this is all good. The day after, busy all day, has capacity, all is good. Should the person have half a day off or work part time here, it would have had a, a, a bit of a problem like this one here. So here I'm just taking into account, let's say you had put the availability in a resource here, you can put 50%, for instance. And here, oops, uh, here, here you can see that that resource had 50% um, not available for any reason. So it was still given 100% of work. So it could meet the first 50%, but it could not meet the other 50%. So this is why it's then showing in red. So here, you can do it all, but here, you cannot do any because it's not available at all. And here is available only 50% of the day, so you can only do 50%. So it looks like at m in my estimate here, I had 100% uh, work required. Here, that's yet again another scenario. It looks like it was given 200% of work for that day. So he can do the first half, but he cannot do the second half. Then what next? Uh, then uh, you continue available full time here. And here looks like he's, he's, uh, he's got uh, nothing given. Here he can meet the demand. And here once again, he's been given too much work. Come on, come on guys. And here, 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 that could meet also that is he has zero percent in availability for all that, um, but that could mean that you are a bit late in your resource uh, availability matrix. So maybe here you didn't end up putting uh, any any resource. I mean, with, what's uh, the name of the resource here? John Edwards, John Edwards, John Edwards. Uh, after one, you know, so here there's nothing. So what, what does that mean? Does that mean it's not available or likes? So this is why it's showing all grayed out. You cannot rely on that person yet. So this is how it works. If you have those those four color coded there, um, you, you'll, you'll understand. Now the second part, so task assigned. So for the task assigned, um, I am retrieving the tasks here and I only selecting the tasks that are allocated, obviously, to this person here. So here, for instance, John, it was as four tasks. If I take someone else, Sebastian Ross, he has only three tasks. And then uh, John Tudor here, only one task. So let's go back to John Edwards here. So John Edwards, um, he has a signed resource here. This is a task I has to do, and it's all green. So he's lucky, uh, all this, um, the, the task here will be met until that point here. Now this is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there's a strap, and this is where I put straps, is you can have stripes and red uh, at the same time. So here it's red because it's just simply not available at all. And, and here it's, it's just a plain red. So you cannot do this and that at the same time, obviously. So there is no prioritization here because he's available for half the time. And, you know, I could have said, well, he's going to do this, but he's not going to do that. But there's no prioritization here. So I didn't want to make that decision. I don't want to, I don't want to say you do this and, and uh, not that. So I have that, I know, in another software, but this is not the purpose of this one. This one is to highlight 
when a resource is too busy, so then the, the manager or whoever can go back and decide, okay, you're too busy, so uh, we have one uh, or two decisions to make. First, which one do you do out of those two? And two, do we want to shift things or do we want to bring someone else? And then which one do you do? So there's a lot of decisions here. So and this is why I'm just saying, okay, here you have a challenge. And that will be shown on the, on the task, by the way, uh, here as well. You know, they will show us red this way. So here we have the challenge. And then you decide, you go back, you can do half of it. And you go back and you decide which one uh, that person will do instead. And here, uh, you probably, if you can, you probably would, would want to slide that task here because he has got capacity. Because here it's all blue. Here it's a sea of blue here. And then, then here it's a, uh, you can meet it. And then once again, guys, you gave three tasks to this poor guy. And here, obviously, I, I, I stop at some stage. I just say, you know, uh, he's got three. Uh, I'm just uh, stopping here because you, you need to go back here and just highlight the fact that, look, that there's too much work here. And uh, then you need to go back and, and reduce the, the amount. Okay, so this is uh, what I wanted to, to show you here. And there's another scenario uh, that I think one of the guys, I think Sebastian Ross, had. So here you can see it's, it's red because the resource is not available. It's just a way. Uh, the other scenario is, let's have a look. So here, Sam has got nothing. Sam, red, red. So you walk through your your uh, stuff like that. It allows you to uh, just prevent you from having to go through each and every task on the on the task list. So you have a bit of a, an overview here. So I just wanted to show you some specific example. This one's got it's got nothing. It doesn't work much. All right, same here, and same here. All right, so you, you need to have a look at the, the straps when it's red, obviously. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I think this is, uh, this is it for that screen here. Now I'm going to the last screen, which is a project overview. So this is actually uh, to give you a very high view on your project. When you have resources needed, it's in red. And when everything is available, it's in green. But looks like this scenario here, they are, they are very unlucky. They, are, they almost uh, need someone all the time, with the exception of, of this area here and one or two days. So you can, you can see that just by reorganizing a few resources, um, then you can uh, you know, make a big difference. Uh, I you know I could I could put as uh, probably in, a, in the next version I could put some totals here I don't want to overwhelm the, the screen with totals this is a clean a clean screen but you could put some totals here and just just overall um, how many days are uh, required how many resources maybe it looks like if it's one resource here for instance you could just add one other resource and we take care of all this little red with a little look that's within uh, his or her skills could take care of all this and then you're pretty good. So that allows you to, you know, no, no, no need to panic. There's only one resource short for all this. And uh, with a little of luck, you, 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 you can meet the, the demand here. So it's no biggie, no biggie. Let's not panic. Sometimes you see everything red. You go here and you see everything and you say, what the hell is going on? But after you go here, well, it's not too bad. It's only one resource short. Uh, we just need to shuffle things around. Um, and to see how it works. So here, if you go to the bottom of the screen here, this is another view. But I've already talked about this in a previous video, so I don't want to do it again, but this gives you a, a, another view of the impact here. Okay, so I think this is pretty much it. Um, um, and there's obviously the guide here, as usual. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on this uh, latest version. And uh, yeah, make sure you, you check the link where you can uh, build it from scratch. Uh, the version one from scratch. Okay.